Hello, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to talk about how we're going to draw influence line uh, for a truss. So take a good look at this truss. We have this truss is simply supported. And we want to draw influence line for member F, this member right here, member FDI. And, uh, and I have shown the influence line right here, see how we got this. One of the first thing we want to do is calculate the reaction. And when we do an influence line, we're going to go ahead and use unit load. What I mean by unit load is mean we're going to put one unit load right here first, and then we're going to calculate the reaction. Then we're going to go ahead and move the unit load right here, and we're going to calculate the reaction. Then we're going to continue to put the unit load right here, calculate the reaction. While I have all the reaction, one, first time when I calculate this reaction, I'm going to go ahead and calculate the member, and then I'm going to write it down. So let's do it like this. Make a chart for ourselves right here. Say, okay, I'm going to go ahead, call this X. And X is anywhere from here, the zero here, and all the way 90 feet this way. The truss is about uh, 15 feet each bay, and it's about 20 feet tall. So your slope's going to come out in the uh, four and three and five. So it's easy to calculate everything. So, okay, I'm going to make a Y right here. In case if I have to, if you were asked, let's draw an influence line for AY. You already have the number for it. And uh, remember FDI itself. Good. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a unit load right here at this x is equal to 0. Well, let's use a different color. I don't like this color. That's the same as that one. Something that show up uh, different. Blue. All right, I gotta put one unit low right here. And therefore my x is equal zero because I'm starting from this way. And let's find out what ay can I come out to. Uh, we know this, we've done this many times. When we're looking at how to calculate the reaction, I'm looking at the whole truss. So don't look at the truss being cut. Assume this truss is all in one piece. So I'm going to have uh, one unit low right here, and I'm going to figure out these two reaction force. All I have is this reaction force, these three. So my reaction for the force I'm going to work on is those three forces. And I'm going to go ahead, OK, I'm going to take a summation moment by point E. Um, summation moment about point E is equal to 0. Counterclockwise is positive. I'm going to have AY multiplied by 15, 15, another 15, another X makes it 60. So A minus AY, because it's negative this way, according to our sign, 60. And then the other load I have is 1. And 1 is going to be positive, so it's be 1 times 60, plus 1 times 60. And there's nothing else, really. When we're looking at the whole truss, we're trying to figure out the reaction. All we have is the two support and the load we have right here. So uh, in reality, should there be, if I make that truss, that truss is going to be like uh, this, OK? I have AY here, and I have EY here, and I have the unit load, which I'm moving around, and is applied right here, and that's 1. So that's all we have to figure out the reaction. So we say it's equal to 0, and therefore my AY comes out to 1. If you calculate it, your AY comes out to 1. OK, now we got that. We're going to stay right here, and we're going to go ahead and calculate the member here. So how I'm going to figure out the certain member? You were asked, OK, figure out the, the uh, forces in, either in this member or that member. What are we doing? We can do method of joint, but it's too long to get there. What are we going to do? We're going to cut it. Cut the truss. Get a chainsaw, get a saw, but don't torch it. Torch is not allowed. So we're going to go ahead and cut this truss right here, right down the middle right here. Now, when you cut it, and you're going to find out, OK, if I cut it right here, which I have done, now I've got to replace this member and this member with the force, which I have shown, and replace this member with the force. And on the other side, it'll be the same thing, but the opposite. But we're going to deal with this side of the truss. We don't care about that side. We cut it right here, and this is what we're going to deal with. 
A lot of times they have asked, Professor, where should I put my arrow? Up, down, this way, the other way? If you do it wrong, well, you're going to get a negative number. But take a look at what I have on the board here. Because we move and load around here, this is going to turn, depending on what my load is, it could be compression or tension. So in here, we're just assuming it's going to be tension all on this side. And, but if you move the load to the other side, things might get reversed. But normally, a normal truss, if it's load all over the place, is the top quarter is a compression, bottom is a tension. All right, so let's figure out what FDI is. So now I'm going to deal with this section right here, just this right here. After I have figured out my reaction, when I figure out reaction, I use this. But when I want to figure out the member, I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to have now, I got this force here to deal with, I got this force to deal with, and this force to deal with, and this one, and that one. So I got one, two, three, four, five forces I got to deal with. So how am I going to find this one? Equilibrium. If we use summation of F of Y, there's only Y, there's no Y component here. There's no Y component there. This one only has a y, y component. And that comes out easy. So we're going to go ahead and say, okay, summation F of Y is equal to zero. Going up is positive. <coughs> I have AY, which in this case came out 1, and minus that one, which is minus 1, all right, and then plus the component, and uh, that's negative, uh, minus, uh, that'd be FDI, we're looking at the uh, vertical component, so it's going to be 4 over 5 or 0.8 equals 0, and this com comes out 0, so this force comes out 0. All right. So that was for x is equal 0. Okay, now let's do go for x equal 15. What I mean by 15, that means we're going to come in here. Uh, okay, we're going to come in here. We're going to take this load here and take it out. And we're going to say, you know what? We're going to go move over here. We're going to move you over here. So now unit load is going to be right here, 1. And this is where x is 15 is going to come in. So we're going to do the same thing over again. Calculate the reaction force. Summation moment about point E is equal to 0. We have Ay times 60 minus Ay times 60. Then I have plus 1 time. This time is um, 45. And that's it, equals 0. So you calculate this, you're going to come up with, uh, you can put this in the Excel program and go ahead and uh, um, figure these out. So at x is equal 15, we have Ay comes out to, uh, I did an Excel sheet, uh, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. And then we're going to go ahead and calculate the same thing. Summation F of Y is equal 0. And we have uh, Ay, which is 0 0.75. Okay, minus 1, right? So summation f of y is going to be this one, this one, and this load right there. And then plus, uh, that should be minus right here. No, that's right. I'm right. Uh, minus, there you go, minus f di time 4 over 5 equals 0. And... That comes out to 0 0.313, 0 0.313. So we're going to go ahead, and the next time we're going to say for x equal 30, and 30. So if we do that, then we're going to go ahead and move this one to the next one, to 30 right here. Whoops. Let's make a blue right there. If we do that and I come out with a 30, we get a 0 0.5 for this. And uh, it's going to be minus 
0.625. You keep on going, but the interesting part here is, this is important. Now the load's gonna go move down the other side. All right, for number 45. 45, okay. Let's do 45. I'm gonna erase this here so we can do for 45. Okay, for x is equal 45, it's interesting because now we have, we come into D. That means we're on this side. So now my load is moving from here to here. Okay. All I have left is right here. Uh, take a moment, summation moment about point E is equal to zero, go on counterclockwise is positive. Um, 45, that's uh, is a D. So I'm gonna have, uh, my load is gonna be, the unit load is not gonna be longer here at 45, it's gonna be somewhere around here. That's one, okay? And it's going to be AY, again, minus AY times 60, and minus plus 1. It'd be, I believe it's going to be, it's going to be a D, so it's going to be about times 15. Time 15 is equal to 0. And if you figure that out, your AY is going to come out to uh, 0.25. Okay, so 15 divided by 60.25. Um, double check that. Now we're gonna find out what this gonna become. So it'd be kind of summation f of y equals zero. Pay attention here. The load, it's on this side of the cut. It doesn't concern you anymore. It's, it's not here, it's on the other side. So when you do summation f of y, you have a y, which is 0.25, and uh, there's nothing else. So it's going to be minus f d i times 0.8, or 4 divided by 5 equals 0, and that comes out to 0.3125. You notice at point D, which is 45, we went up this way. So you can go ahead and calculate the rest of them and figure if you got the same thing in there, and that's where they are. Uh, at 60, I get uh, 0 and 0. And 75, I have, see if you can figure these out, uh, negative 0.25 and negative 0.3125 and finally at 90 feet I have negative 0.5 and minus 0.625. Great. Now this is, you have this and then you go have your influence line, you drive your influence line and you know at zero you are zero, at 15 or you come up to the next uh, one where you're going to make the turn, you can go ahead and plot all these points, and this we are going to end up with the influence line like this. Now, here's a challenge for you. Um, let's do the same thing, draw the influence line for member uh, FL, this member. Okay, let's start the influence line for that and see if you can figure it out. Uh, it's going to be something like this. Now I want to someplace so we can see it better right here. So it's going to be like this, your influence line going straight. And what do I have? FL uh, started at E. 
So your reaction at E is right here. Yes, it's going to go up like this, and it's going to come down like that. And that's one. Rasam is zero. So what do I mean? It means this is a zero member until the force comes down to the other side. See if you can figure that out. Good luck to you.